Hi everybody. My name is Michelle Zolba from WildlyNaturalSkinCare.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rose oil using a cold infusion method. There are about four different ways to make herbal oils. And so today um, I'm just going to demonstrate the very simplest way, which is a cold infusion. Basically all you need are two ingredients and that, uh, that is your herbs, whatever herbs you decide to use for your oil, and a carrier oil. Um, common carrier oils are extra virgin olive oil and today I'm going to use sweet almond oil which is also also makes a nice carrier oil for an herbal oil. The rose petals that I have here are, are Rosa Demacina and they make a that's one of the uh, medicinal roses that we use for oils and um, teas and other herbal creations so I have dried rose petals here as you can see um, if you, have a, if you have a plant, a rose plant, you can certainly use the rose petals from your plant. However, I would recommend freshly drying them for 12 to 24 hours, and that way you, you'll decrease your likelihood of developing a mold in your oil. Okay, so here we go. It's so simple, you're going to love it. Basically, all I'm going to do is fill up this jar here, three quarters of the way full with the rose petals, and then I'm going to pour the sweet almond oil over, cap it and shake it, and that's going to be it. So whenever I get my herb in here, I just I um, really kind of break it up with my hands, and that way we're exposing surface area of the plant, and therefore the oil will be able to extract the medicinal components out of the plant. So just go ahead and give your herb a nice um, sort of friction type action to get all the medicinal goodies out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pour a bunch in and then break it up with my hands. And yeah, feel free, you know, when you're making your oils to sing or to do some chanting or However else it is that you like to infuse some extra magic into your medicines and your skincare products. So here we go, you know, just I'm sure it's, you could also, you know, um, grind your petals down to almost a powder in the food processor or a mortar and a pestle. But I like this method. I like to get my hands, my hands in the business here. All right, let's put a little bit more in. And by the way, you can you can learn all about different oils, different herbs for skincare on my website, which is wildlynaturalskincare.com. I also have a Facebook page and I'm on Twitter, Wildly Natural. Okay, so here we go. Got about that much in the in the jar. And now all I'm going to do is pour in my carrier oil, in this case sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is a nice light oil, which is wonderful for <clears throat> skin care, for hair care. You can use this on your whole body, on your face. Uh, it's very light, it's easily absorbed, and it doesn't really have much of an aroma of its own, which makes it a nice carrier oil when you want to extract some of the aroma from the herb. And I have this here. Um, stick that I like to I like to have these on hand so I can make sure that all of the herb is getting covered with oil. Okay, now I'll just put a little bit extra on. A little bit more. So it's just about you know a quarter inch or so below the lip of the jar. <clears throat> Alright, and then all I do is cap it really well tightly and give it a good shake. And there you have it. I'll make up a label for this. I always like to put on my labels exactly what's in here and the date. This will sit for four weeks minimum and it can sit in a warm place or a cool place. You want to make sure it's a dark place, though there is a sun method for making oils also. 
And then after four weeks, you just strain it out. You strain the herb out and you collect the oil. The oil, the finished oil, is your rose oil. And with that, you can use it as is, or you can add some essential oil to it if you wanted to make it, you know, with some rose essential oil, and that way it would be doubly uh, aromatic. You can also use your strained oil to infuse more rose petals if you wanted to make it stronger in that way. So that's it. That's how you make a cold infusion. Very easy, very basic, and I hope you learned a lot today. And please be sure to stop by. I'll be adding more videos.